The most important thing for me to do is to touch this bump, because when something is adherent or stuck to your body, that is a potentially bad sign. There are two kinds of people on the internet, those who love to watch pimple popping videos and those who do not understand why people watch them. Did you know that there is even a word, popaholic, that describes a person who enjoys or is addicted to popping pimples or watching them be popped? Well, you should remember that word because we will need it during the video. Let's take a look at Dr. Pimple Popper's best cis pops of 2020. Are you excited? Before we jump into the video, do you want to know what happens to your brain when you watch a pimple popping video? Why do some people love it, and why is it too disgusting for some others? Put simply, they make your brain feel good. But how? Over time, people have evolutionarily developed a response known as the disgust response to dangers such as dirt, bugs, and signs of disease that repel any hazards that threaten survival. Similarly, Humans that see large acne growing on someone's skin, such as in these pimple videos, develop a reflex to cleanse it. This seems to be rooted in a desire to want to conform and fit in by removing anything that seems like it doesn't belong. When you pop your own pimples, your brain actually releases the happy, feel-good neurotransmitter dopamine. Watching those videos can be something like a roller coaster ride of emotions, which can be just like an actual roller coaster, thrilling and amusing. As Dr. Lee explains, watching popping is similar to seeing a scary movie or riding a roller coaster for some. You get a rush of euphoria and excitement. There is even an entire subreddit called r popping dedicated to pictures, videos, and stories about cysts and pimples. And there are almost 300,000 popping addicts there. Are you going to join them? All right, let's start. Number 5. Potato Salad Back Cyst Sandra Sue Pin Lee, better known as Dr. Pimple Popper, is an American dermatologist and YouTuber based in Upland, California. She is known for her online videos and her TV series. She extracts everything when it comes to skin blackheads, whiteheads, cysts, lipomas, milia, and more. She is known for equating her patient's skin condition with the food they resemble, and she did just that during her last pimple popping adventure. In July 2020, she shared a YouTube video called Summertime Potato Salad Cyst, in which she treated a man's golf ball sized cyst on his upper back. Upon the first examination, doctors said the cyst felt soft so she decided to make a shallow cut into it in case it contained any fluid. The chunky cyst is yellow-hued and thick, and simply does not quit. It was truly a never-ending procedure. Even the doctor was so shocked that she told the patient, I think we're going to have to save some of this and show you what it looks like. Once she removed the bulk of the substance, Lee was able to numb the area where she'd be removing the remainder of the cyst. After she is sure the entire cyst is removed, the dermatologist stitches the patient up and sends him on his way. In this video, it's likely an epidermoid cyst, which is often filled with wet, dead skin cells and keratin. It commonly occurs on the face, neck, chest, and back. Well, after watching this pop, you are sure to pass on the potato salad at your next picnic. Number 4. The Hidden Volcano Cyst we have all agreed that Dr. Lee is the go-to doctor for all things pimple popping. Everyone knows that, and it's no wonder that a patient with a cyst in a precarious position went to Dr. Pimple Popper for help. This cyst itself is not out of ordinary, but there is something that makes it more interesting. It's located under an intricate tattoo. Somehow, Dr. Pimple Popper has to slice through the tattoo to clear out the cyst, but there is a danger to the tattoo. Let's see if it will experience any collateral damage. The video skips ahead to show all the juicy squeezing portion. The cyst is stuffed with a bunch of dried up gunk. One fan even described it as tarantula baby. That was only a sneak peek of all the hard work that went into Dr. Lee's extraction. The cyst was really huge. The hole it left behind was massive, which leaves the dermatologist with the tough task of sealing it up and lining up the tattoo. She does both quickly and with flawless precision. There were some theories that Papaholics mentioned in the comments. One of them wanted to know if the ink could cause the cyst. In fact, if someone with a tattoo gets a large cyst, 
it means that something has obstructed the natural mechanisms of the skin. It could be the trauma caused by the tattoo itself or something the person has done during the healing process. The reason of cysts being under a tattoo is the blockages that make fluid or macerated skin cells build up. Number 3. Acuity Pilometricoma on the Forehead Now that coronavirus pandemic restrictions have lifted in California, Dr. Lee is seeing her patients again. And the first video after the vacation was published on June 10th. In the video, the doctor gave a detailed look into how she treats what she believed to be a pilometricoma, sometimes called a pilometrixoma. It's a rare, non-cancerous tumor that grows in hair follicles. It looks and feels like a hard lump on the skin, and it's most common on the forehead and neck, but it can appear anywhere on the body. According to Dr. Lee, younger people are more likely to have these types of growths. In the video, the patient's pilometricoma was in the center of her forehead right above her eyebrows. To treat her, the doctor created a small incision in the center of the growth and then used scissors to dig into the incision. She squeezed around the growth with her fingers. Dr. Pimple Popper said those things, called pilometricomas, tend to get stuck to people because they are firm growths, and that can make them difficult to pull out in one mass, which Lee prefers to do with her patient's skin growths. It doesn't want to come out without a fight here, she said. But will it be a problem for her to deal with? We highly doubt that. To move the process along, Lee added a suspension stitch to the growth by putting one surgical stitch directly through the spot in an attempt to separate it from the patient's skin. She was able to cut the small growth out of the incision and stitch it up so the woman's forehead could heal easily. After doing so, she showed the woman the bits of the growth she'd removed. It was like a pesky bead-like mass that emerges from the forehead after a long and frustrating battle. But the winner, as usual, was Dr. Lee. It's like a little rock. You can't squeeze it, you can't smash it, doctor tells the patient. In fact, the tiny growth even sounds like a rock when you bang it against something. Number 2. A Stubborn Bubble Wrap Lipoma In a recent YouTube video, Dr. Pimple Popper treated her patient with a grapefruit-sized lipoma or fat-filled growth, which felt like a giant rubber ball stuck under their skin. Dr. Lee numbed the growth and sliced it open through its center. Immediately after cutting the lipoma open, yellow fat-filled lumps appeared underneath the skin's surface. As Lee said, the nodules reminded her of bubble wrap used for packing fragile items. The doctor used scissors to cut the top layer of nodules away and then plunged her hand into the incision to massage more hard-to-reach lumps and loosen them from the underskin fibers that held them in place. She also used tweezers for small nodules she couldn't grab with her fingers. The perfect combination of tweezers and extra elbow grease worked, but some of her fans had creative strategies as well. One said, I think you need an ice cream scoop for the bigger ones like this. After 40 minutes of cutting, pulling, and tweezing, the cavity in the patient's upper back was finally lipoma-free. The doctor stitched up the cavity so it could heal, and showed the patient the dozens of lipoma bubbles she'd removed. Number 1. A Weight Off His Shoulder In one of the episodes of Season 3 of Dr. Pimple Popper, the dermatologist treated a man named Inoke who had a large lipoma connected to his upper right arm. A 51-year-old patient from Sacramento, California thought the lump would heal on its own, so he just let it be. It started to grow into the size of a softball, though to viewers it appeared to be even larger. Previous doctors warned him the growth could be cancerous, but none were able to diagnose him precisely. He never got a biopsy, since he was scared to know if the doctors were right. Luckily, Dr. Lee was able to quell Inoke's anxiety about the potential cancerous tumor when she met him at her office. Lee numbed the growth with an injection and sliced it in half. She found a massive fat deposit, which proved Inoke's bump was a lipoma, not a cancerous growth. She was able to cut the fat deposit out of his body and place it on a surgical tray, where it overflowed. Are you a popaholic, or do these kinds of videos make you feel disgusted? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.